Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Good evening. Yes, if you're right, can. Okay, yes, great. Good evening. All right, let's begin. Just a moment. Okay, here. Okay, so what do we have? This is the advanced English level uh level three. Okay, advanced English three. Sorry, I'm not sharing the screen. I forgot. Um right there. Okay. And uh dinner's list. Okay, that's also very important. Okay, when you hear your name, let me know. Abdi Avisua Peña Lopez. Abdi Avisua Peña Lopez. Alejandro Jose Quintanilla Ayala. Good evening, teacher. Present. Good evening. Welcome. Ana Filomena Mendoza. Good evening, teacher. Present. Thank you. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Ana Yanira Mendoza Godoy. Andrea Michelle García Selva. Andrea Michelle García Selva. Byron Rafael Avelar Aquino. Present teacher, good evening. Thank you, welcome. Boris Martín Salinas Quintanilla. Boris Martín Salinas Quintanilla. Cecilia Elizabeth Guardado Gutierrez. I present. Welcome. Cesar Alexander Ramirez Ramirez. Present teacher, I am here. Welcome. Claudia Yanet Iraeta Martinez. Claudia Yanet Iraeta Martinez. Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Debbie Natalia Segura Ramos. Daisy Carolina Rodríguez Mejía. Present teacher. Welcome. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Gabriela Loure Sequeira Bernal. Gabriela Stephanie Cortés de Martínez. Good evening teacher. Welcome. Gladys Imelda Sánchez. Present teacher. Welcome. Jenny Elizabeth Santillana Cortés. Present. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Jose Eraibin Enriquez. Good evening, teacher. Welcome. Carla Stephanie Perla Umansor. Present, teacher. Welcome. Luis Fernando Enriquez Herrera. Present, teacher. Welcome. Madeline Diana Cerón de Paz. Present. Welcome. Maritza Isabel Méndez Aguirre. Present teacher. Welcome. Melanie Andrea Trinidad Villanueva. Present. Welcome. Noemí Alicia Estrada de Valle. Present teacher. Welcome. Reina Isabel Romero Ventura. Hello. Rosa Esmeralda Hernández de Flores. Ok, welcome. Rufino Amilcar Hernández Linares. Rufino Amilcar Hernández Linares. Sandra Cecilia Munguía. Present. Welcome. Ok. I have a couple chat entries here. Claudia y Annette. Ok, Claudia, thank you. All right. Ok. Let's... Me... Okay. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, uh, Ana Yanira Mendoza. Okay, thank you. Sí. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. I'm here, teacher. Who's here? Andrea Michelle. Andrea Michelle. Okay, Andrea Michelle, thank you. Okay. All right, uh, let's begin. This is Advanced English 3, and that's me, Donyang, at your service. Once again, this is session 11. And yeah, session 11. Hey, what happened? Where'd my presentation go? Okay, it's session 11 and today is November the 15th of 2023. So uh, let's do this. 
Uh, today we start the second part of section number three, and we have this, I wish. Okay, we're going to be studying wish clauses. Okay, so read these chat room messages, match, you know, each message with one of the values before below. So the first one is careful spending. We're talking about money. Uh, letter B, concern for others, when you worry about other people. Okay, concern for others. Letter C, perseverance. Letter D is good family relations. Letter E is rapid career advancement. And letter F is good cross-cultural relations. So you have the connected world. Hello, connected world fans. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay. So hello, connected world fans. This week, we're stopping to take uh, stock of our lives. Is there anything you wish you had done differently? What do you wish you could change right now? And we have the first one, which is uh, Mika22. I need a volunteer, please, just to, to, to help me read this, the first, you know, entry in the blog or the chat or, or I don't know, like the forum that we have right here. So uh, can I have a volunteer to read this, please? One person? Okay, God bless Stephanie. Thank you very much. The first one, please. I wish I had enough never to ask for a promotion. I like my job, but I've been in the same position for several years. If only my boss would consider promoting me. Yes. I wish I had enough nerve to ask for a promotion. I like my job, but I've been in the same position for several years. If only my boss would consider promoting me. Okay, so Carla, what about this one? Which one, which value, okay, would you uh, relate or would you, um, I don't know, match to this comment right here? Um, I mean, letter B. B, concern for others. You sure? Let's take a look. The person says, I wish I had enough nerve Okay, like I were brave enough to ask for a promotion, okay, for a higher position in the company. I like my job, but I've been in the same position for several years. If only my boss would consider promoting me, right, giving me a higher position. So uh, is it concern for others or maybe a different one? Anybody? Um, can... Okay, okay, Carla. I don't know. I I'm maybe it's pers letter C. Perseverance. Letter C. Perseverance. Maybe. Okay. Maybe. But there's another one that is better than this one. What do you think? Maybe. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Letter E. Letter E. Rapid career advancement. Yeah, that's right. They're talking about career advancement. That's correct. Thank you, Carla. Very good. Now, Gladys was raising her hand. Gladys, can you help me read the second one, please? Of course. Um, I love and respect my mother and father a lot. I wish I hadn't given them so much, such a hard time when I was growing up. I'm just happy they forgive forgave. forgive me forgave. for all those wrote forgave me for all those wrote I yeah I love and respect my mother and father a lot I wish I hadn't given them such a hard time when I was growing up I'm just happy they forgave me for all those rough times so uh, Gladys which value would you literally letter D okay which is good family relations. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so Ivan 007, okay, like James Bond. Uh, so it's this letter D actually, good family relations. Very good, thank you. We continue. What about number three, wish list? Okay, I need a volunteer to read this. If you can help me. Volunteer to read the third one, wish list. No participants? Really? 
Maritza, thank you very much. Okay. I'm ashamed of all the money I was. If only I saved more over the last few years, no, I want to rent my own apartment and I can't afford, afford it starting today. I am going to start buying things I don't need. Yeah, I'm ashamed of all the money I've wasted. If only I had saved more over the last few years. Now I want to rent my own apartment and I can't afford it. Starting today, I am going to stop buying things I don't need. So Maritza, which value uh, would you say this comment is referring to? Uh, for me, letter A. Letter A, careful spending. That is correct, absolutely. Careful spending. Very good, thank you, Maritza. Janita, do you want to help us with number four? Yes, teacher. Okay, please. Um, I used to travel to Mexico for my job about once a month. I probably would have been more successful if I had spoken more Spanish. I wish I'd taken a few Spanish classes. Okay. I used to travel to Mexico for my job about once a month. I probably would have been more successful if I had spoken more Spanish. I wish I had taken a few Spanish classes. So which one is it, Janita? Uh, maybe letter F. Letter F, good cross-cultural relations. That mm -hmm. is correct, okay, thank you very much. Very good. And uh, number five, who can help me read number five? Okay, Byron, thank you, Byron. Okay, when I was a kid, I tried lots of things, sports, languages, music, and I enjoyed them all. But I always lost interest after a while. If I had stuck with something, I could have gotten good at it. Yeah, when I was a kid, I tried lots of things, sports, languages, music, and enjoyed them all but I always lost interest after a while. If I had stuck with something, I could have gotten good at it. What value are we talking about here, Byron? Maybe is letter C. Perseverance, that is correct, okay? This person <laughs> didn't have or didn't show perseverance and therefore didn't become very good at any of these uh, you know, activities or disciplines. Thank you. And the last one is obviously letter B, right? There's no point in asking <laughs> which one it is. I'm going to read it. I wish I could find the time to do volunteer work. I feel I am not contributing enough to the community. Maybe I can find time to volunteer at the hospital in my neighborhood. So this is B, concern for others, okay? When you worry about you know, uh, other people, you are concerned. So now we have the structure, which is I wish and if only. Okay, so I want you to pay close attention to this. I know that you've been working on the exercises. Now we're going to explain this in more detail. So lesson objective 3.6. By the end of this section, participants will be able to practice using language to express wishes and regrets. Okay, so what is that? Wishes and regrets. For wishes about the present and future, you use wish plus the past simple, the past continuous, or could or would in the verb. For example, I wish I had enough nerve to ask for a promotion. To have enough nerve means to be brave enough. That's the meaning of that. If you say you don't have the nerve to do it, that means that you are not brave enough to do it. So when they say, I wish I had enough nerve to ask for a promotion, that means that this person is not brave enough. This person wants to be brave enough, but this person is not brave enough to ask for a promotion. So this person says, I wish I had enough nerve to ask for a promotion, which is, if you translate it into Spanish, it would go something like, quisiera tener, right? Pero no tengo. So I wish I had enough nerve to ask for a promotion. Okay, 
So the second one, I wish I could find the time to do volunteer work. Okay, I wish I could find the time to do volunteer work. Okay. Quisiera poder encontrar el tiempo para hacer de voluntario. So I wish I could find the time to do volunteer work. Now, these, um, this topic is closely related to the second conditional because we're talking about hypothetical situations. We're talking about situations that are not real. These situations don't reflect reality. When you say, I wish I had enough nerve to ask for a promotion, the question is, does this person have enough nerve to ask for a promotion? The answer is no. So it's the opposite of reality. So the second example goes like this. I wish I could find the time to do volunteer work. Now, the question is, does this person have enough time to do volunteer work? The answer will be no. This person doesn't have enough time. This, that's why he or she is saying, I wish I could find the time to do volunteer work. Okay. So it's only a hypothetical situation. This is what they want reality to be. But reality is the opposite to this. Okay. Now, um, you can also use, as, as is stated in here, and let me show you. Okay. All right. Uh, it says in here, for wishes about the present and future, you can use wish plus past simple and uh, past continuous. Okay. So past simple. For example, you can say, I wish I had, let's say, a uh, Ferrari. Just to give you an idea. Okay. I wish I had a, Ferra a Ferrari. So the question is, when I say, I wish I had a Ferrari, do I have a Ferrari? Yes or no? No. The answer no. is no. Okay. Absolutely no. Okay. So when I say, I wish I had a Ferrari, I am only stating what I would like reality to be. But reality is the complete opposite. I don't have a Ferrari. Okay, but I would like to have one. In the example, in real life, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe I would like to have one so I could sell it. Anyway, so uh, the second one says you can use wish plus past continuous. Continuous, I'm sorry. You can say, I wish I, and because this is a hypothetical situation, the same rule with the verb be applies. You know that the past continuous is the verb being past and the main verb in ing. So I wish I were, uh, I wish I were, let's say, for example, I wish I were, uh, I don't know, uh, resting, okay? I wish I were resting, <laughs> but I'm working. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love I love working, but I'm also a little bit tired. So let's say this is like kind of true. I wish I were resting. So you can use past continuous, but the question is, am I resting right now? No, I am working. It's the opposite of this. So that's the thing. You can also use it with could as in the example. I'm going to use the same example. I wish I could, uh, because in this case is the model, right? I could, imagine this, I wish I could fly. You can say that, I wish I could fly. Desearía poder volar, right? So I wish I could fly. But in reality, I can't fly, nobody can fly. I mean, and the only people who can fly, you know, are pilots, all right? They fly artificially. So. I wish I could fly like Superman. That would be nice. So, but no, it's impossible. So I, I say, I wish I could. All right. And the last one, you can also use would, but normally you use would when you want to state what you would like another person to do. Especially when you are annoyed or when you are... Um, how can I say this? When you are not content, okay, with the situation, okay, you can say, I wish you would stop asking me to lend you money, okay? Now, again, you use wish plus would 
and a verb, normally when you are expressing that you would like a person to do or not do something, but it's a different person, okay? It's about a behavior in a different person. So I wish you would stop asking me to lend you money. Imagine this person comes every day and tells you, hey, hey, I need some money. Can you lend me money? And you say like, no, sorry, I don't have any. Then the next day, the person comes again and tells you, like, hey, I, I need some money. Can you please lend me some money, right? I promise I'll return it. And you say, no, I mean, I don't have money to lend you. I'm sorry. And then the same thing the next day and the next day and the next day. And this person is like doing the same thing all the time. So you tell the person, I wish you would stop asking me to lend you money. Okay. So again, you use wish with the model would and the verb. Okay. Normally to state that you want a person to behave in a certain way or stop behaving in a certain way okay or do something or stop doing something but it's not about you okay it's about a different person i wish you would stop asking me to lend you money okay so that's the thing you can see it here right but what what do they have in common they are similar to second conditional okay to the if clause in the second condition that means that you have to use past simple or Past continuous, or you could use the model could and a verb in base form because after a model you have to use base form. You can also use the model would and the base form, but again, this is about someone else, not you. Okay, uh, <clears throat> so uh, these are okay wishes about the present and the future. So when I say I wish I had a Ferrari, that means I wish I had a Ferrari now. When I say, I wish I were resting, that means I wish I were resting right now. If I say, I wish I could fly, that means I, I wish I could fly in the present. And I wish you would stop asking me to lend you money, okay? This is another wish for the present and also for the future because the person continues doing it. You don't want, to, you don't want him or her to do it in the future either. Now, um, Take a look at this. For regrets about the past, and this is a different thing. It's not a wish. It's a regret. What is the meaning of regret? Do you know? If you know the answer, you can tell me. What is the meaning of regret? Does anybody know? Ms. Romero? I, I can't hear you. Sorry. I wish I could hear you. Lamentar, teacher. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Uh, well, well, uh, thank you, Jose. Uh, Ms. Romero, you were saying, I'm sorry, but I, I can barely hear you. Um, now I can hear you is, better. You can hear me now? Yes, I can. Okay. I said something that you wish you hadn't done. Or something you wish you had done also. Oh, uh, that's yeah. That's also a regret. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It works so, in the positive and the negative form. Mm -hmm, yeah. Mm hmm that, that's that's right. So basically, this is what we call in Spanish arrepentimientos, right? So for regrets about the past, you use wish plus the past perfect, okay? Wish plus the past perfect. Examples. I wish I had taken a few Spanish classes. Now, the question is, did this person take Spanish classes? The answer is no. This person didn't do it. And now this person regrets that decision. So I wish I had taken a few Spanish classes. If you said that in Spanish, that would be something like, quisiera haber tomado algunas clases de español. But he didn't do it. So the second example is, I wish I hadn't given my parents such a hard time when I was growing up. Maybe this person was a rebel. Maybe this person wasn't nice to his parents. Maybe he, was getting in, he or she was getting in trouble all the time. And their parents suffered a lot because of it, okay? So this person is saying, I wish I hadn't given my parents such a hard time when I was growing up. So for regrets about the past, you can use wish plus the past perfect. The past perfect, remember, is auxiliary had, always had, and then the main verb in past participle, okay? So um, I just, I, I want you to, to do something for me, okay? Everybody, this is an exercise that I want you to do. Just, I just want to make sure that you understand how to do this. I want you to write two sentences. One sentence about a wish in the present. So you have to use the structure in the first section. And also, I want you to tell me something you regret. But, but... 
be very careful here, okay? Everybody has regrets. I have regrets. I am sure you have regrets too, but some regrets are private, okay? So if you are going to share something with us, just make sure it is not something private, okay? If it is like something that, that, is, that is very personal, very private, please, we don't want to know, okay? Don't reveal private information, okay? But tell us something that you can share with us. For example, you can say, I wish, for example, right? Many, many years ago, when I was studying at university, I was studying English and also French. But at some point, I decided to focus only on English and I dropped French completely. I was also studying Japanese, but because I wanted to focus on my thesis report, I dropped Japanese. Now I regret, okay? And I say, I wish I had finished my French and Japanese courses. Because if I had, I would be, I would speak four languages now, but no, okay? So um, that's something I regret, okay? It's not, I mean, it's something that I can share with you. But again, if it is something super personal, please don't, okay? Tell us something else. So, um, I'll give you three minutes, okay, for you to write your sentences. Remember, one with wish about the present. You use wish in the past, past continuous, could and the verb or wouldn't verb, and a regret about the past. You have to use I wish, I, okay, and the past perfect, okay? Three minutes beginning right now. Let's do it.
One minute. All right, time up. So um, can I have a few volunteers to read the sentences? Remember, it's one about a wish in the present and the other one is about a regret. So volunteers, please. If you want to participate, please raise your hand. Um, anybody? Come on, people. I mean, the point of the exercise is for you to, you know, say something. Biden, thank you very much. Okay. The, from wish, I wish I'd taken a few Italian classes. Okay. Let's... From regret. Okay. Mm, okay, but... Let's see, I wish I, can you repeat the first one, please? I wish I had taken a few Italian classes. Okay, I wish I had taken a few Italian classes. So that means that once you had the opportunity to do this and you didn't do it, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. But, th but this is a regret. That would be regret is mm -hmm. if only my house was very clean. Hey, my PowerPoint presentation disappeared again. Give me a second. If only my house was, was okay, very clean. Was was clean, we can say. All right, was is yes. the informal way you can say where or was. Okay, if only my house were clean. Okay, good, two sentences, although we haven't covered this part yet, but yeah, okay, both sentences are grammatically correct. Thank you, Byron. Um, You're welcome. Someone else, please, okay. Maritza? Okay, um, I wish I could go to Italy on vacation. Okay. But I don't have much money. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. In my case, I wish you could go to Italy, but I don't have any money. That's a problem. Okay. Uh, what is your regret? Um. I. Oh, sorry, teacher. <laughs> You pass. Okay. <laughs> I, I wish I had completed the exercise. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Maritza. Thank you very much. Uh, Ms. Romero. Okay. I have this wish. I wish I had enough money to take my sister to the Cameron for her birthday. 
Nice. You're um, a good. You're a good sister. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I, I wish. I wish I had a sister like you. <laughs> you can adopt me. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> uh, and my regret is I wish I had read more books when I was a kid. I wish I had read what? Sorry. More books. Ah, more books. Okay. I wish I yeah. had read more books when I was a kid. Okay. Perfect. Sorry. Very good. Thank you. I wish I had read more books. I don't have this this regret. When I was a kid, I read a lot of books. My mother was a librarian. So you can imagine. Okay. <laughs> I read all the books I I could. Anyway, Carla and then Janita. That's awesome. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. It was awesome. Okay, Carla. Okay, teacher. Um I we I wish I had a little more free time at in my job uh to travel to another country and okay. now so, so you need more vacation. Yes, more vacation. Okay. And your regret? Oh, uh, I don't think about it. Sorry. Um, oh, okay. I wish. <laughs> I wish. Um. I would. Uh, take an, uh, English classes. Uh, younger than. I have younger than you are right now. Okay. Yes. So okay, but you don't use would in this case. You have to say when you have a regret in the past, you say I wish I, and then you have to use past perfect. So I wish I had taken okay, ah, okay. English lessons when I was younger. Yeah. You're still young. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay. All right. Thank so you. I wish I had taken English lessons when I was younger. Mm-hmm. You know, when I have had young students, I always tell them, like, okay, if you don't use this opportunity right now, when you grow up, you're going to regret it, okay? <laughs> Most of the time, they don't believe me. But a few of them, you know, use their time wisely, and they, they you know, learn the language. So I wish I had taken English lessons when I was younger, or I wish I had learned English when I was younger. You can also say that. Thank you very much. Janita, I believe, was raising her hand. Yes. Okay, Janita. Um, teacher, uh, please tell me if this is correct. Absolutely. I wish I learn. I wish I learn English in my childhood. Okay, but this is a regret, right? Yes. No. Okay. Uh -huh. I no. wish. I wish. Mm -hmm. I learned like English this? in my childhood. Like this. I wish I learned. Yes. Okay. But if you say in my childhood, that's the past. So if No, no, you... no. Uh -huh. English in my childhood. Uh-huh. In your, in your childhood. Yeah, your childhood is is over. Uh-huh. So it's it's a regret. It's it's about the past, right? So for regrets, take a look. For regrets about the past, you have to use wish plus the past perfect. That means that you will have to say something like, I wish I had learned, okay, English okay. in my childhood, which mm -hmm. is uh, pretty much Carla's regret too, okay? Same regret, mm -hmm. but in different words. So I wish I had learned English in my childhood. Mm -hmm. Because you, you're talking about something that you didn't do when you were a kid, okay? And now you have a regret. Okay. In the case of regrets, I wish uh, I hadn't stay in the same job all this time. Is correct or not? Okay. All right. I wish I hadn't stayed at this job, mm -hmm. you can say, all this time. All right. Um, it's time to look for a new job. <laughs> At okay. the same job. Mm -hmm. At this at the same job, okay. At mm -hmm. same job all this time. Yes. All right. Okay, it's time time to start looking for a new job. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyone else? Yeah. 
No one else? Okay, then we continue. So what about this? <clears throat> now, this is the part where it gets a bit difficult. I knew that this was a big topic, okay? Third conditional. We studied second conditional. Now we go with third conditional. For regrets about the past, you can use if plus the past perfect and could or would have plus the past participle. This is the third conditional, okay? If I had stuck with something, which means, si hubiera perseverado, ¿verdad? If I had stuck with something, I could have gotten good at it, okay? Now, I want you to pay close attention to this because this is what we call the third conditional. I believe the grammar for this section is a little bit too much, but okay, let's go with it. Okay, this is third conditional, which is also known as past on real conditional. Okay, AKA means also known as. I'm gonna put it here, AKA. So that's the third conditional. How does it work? Okay, it's it's similar to the second conditional. It has two clauses. There's the if clause and the main clause. Okay, so in the if clause, okay, it represents an imaginary situation. Sorry, imaginary condition in the past. Condition. It's right here. In the past. Okay, and there is a main clause, which states an imaginary, again, uh, result in the past. Okay, so there's the if clause and the main clause. And in the if clause, you have to use this, you have to use this, use this, I'm sorry. Past perfect, and in the main clause, you can use would, or you can use could, plus, have, plus, verb in past participle. That's how you do it. That is the third conditional. Again, it has two clauses, just like the second conditional. The first one is the if clause, then you have the main clause. So the if clause is the imaginary condition in the past, and the main clause is the imaginary result in the past. For the if clause, you have to use the past perfect, and for the main clause, you have to use would or could plus have plus, by the way, the verb in past participle. Okay, let's put it in parentheses so that we don't get confused. Okay, so you can say, for example, like the example I gave you, if I had uh, finished my language studies. Okay, that's one. Let me just move this a little bit. I would have learned three foreign languages. But no, in the end, I only learned one, which is English. So if I had finished my language studies, I would have learned three foreign languages. I would have learned English, French, and Japanese. But in the end, I only learned English. So my, my, my French is like very basic. My Japanese is extremely basic now. I have forgotten most of what I learned. So. That's the idea. This is the third conditional. So if you can see here, in the if clause, you have to use past perfect. If I had finished my language studies, comma, and in the main clause, you have to use would or could plus have plus the verb in past participle. I would have learned three foreign languages. Okay? You can say, if I had uh, 
applied for the job. Maybe I would have gotten it. If I had applied for the job, maybe I would have gotten it. So the question is, and this is a serious question. Anybody can answer. Did I apply for the job? Who can answer this? When I said, if I had applied for the job, maybe I would have gotten it. So my question is, did I apply for the job or not? Who can tell me? Don't be afraid. Alejandro? In my opinion, no, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's your yeah. opinion. And by yes. the way, you are right. Okay, yeah, correct. If I say, if I had applied for the job, automatically I'm implying that I didn't apply for the job. So, correct. Maybe I would have gotten it. Okay, so when you say, if I had applied for the job, is si yo hubiera aplicado el trabajo, that means I didn't do it. Okay, I would have gotten it. Tal vez lo habría obtenido, right? Now, I have an exercise for everybody. I want you to write a sentence like this, okay? By the way, you can also use the negative form. Imagine um, if I, I don't know what to say here. If I uh, hadn't met my wife, okay, I would have uh be happy i don't know <laughs> oh come on that's very mean no but by the way that's a that's a mixed conditional okay that's something that we're going to study in section four and you should be working on this on the platform but that's a mixed conditional okay i would have married someone else okay right we have that so if i hadn't met my wife i would have married someone else so you can see it here right you can use it in negative form this is past perfect. If I hadn't met, si no hubiera conocido, right? If I hadn't met my wife, and then you can use, let's go here. Okay, would plus a, plus have plus a verb in past participle. I would have married someone else, okay? Uh, or you can also use them both in negative form. You can say, if I hadn't met my wife, I wouldn't have... Uh, I don't know, married anyone else. Oh, so romantic. Okay, if I hadn't met my wife, I wouldn't have married anyone else. I would have stayed single, okay, forever. <laughs> okay, so uh, now I have an exercise. I want everybody, okay, to write one sentence using the third conditional. Please use this structure. In the if clause, you have to use past perfect. And in the main clause, you have to use would or could plus the verb in past participle, okay? Uh, I'll give you three minutes. It's very late now. Okay, but let's do it. I just I just really need to know that uh, this, this structure is clear. What is going on, okay? My presentation is just disappearing. Ah, sorry, I'm going to... Show this back to you. Okay, please. Using the third conditional. Write a sentence. Three minutes. Uh, sorry, Carla, do you have a question? Or is your hand up only? She's concentrating doing the experiment. <laughs> it's okay, don't worry. Three minutes.
All right, time to check. Volunteers, please. What's your sentence? By the way, you can combine the sentences, I mean, the wish sentences with the third conditional, like this. You can say like what I told you, right? I wish I had finished my language studies. Okay, that's a wish sentence. And then you can use the third conditional and say something like this. If I had finished my language studies, I would have learned three foreign languages. Foreign. Okay, I'm sorry, I made a mistake in here. It's spelling mistake. Foreign should be GN, no NG. All right, so um, that's mine. How, how about you? What, what sentence can you share with the class? Alejandro is raising his hand, but I don't know if he forgot to put it down. Maybe he forgot. Boris, thank you. Okay, teacher. Uh, my statement is, if I hadn't visit, visited my friends, I wouldn't have known that one of them is so sick. Wow, okay, if I hadn't visited my friends, I wouldn't have uh, known that one of that them is so sick. One of them is so sick. Okay, well, I hope your friend is better now. Okay, so okay. Um, I wouldn't have known, but I wouldn't have known is no habría sabido. Uh, it's better if you want to say no me habría enterado, okay? It's better to use this, the verb learn. Actually, learn means Aprender and also enterarse de algo. So okay. I wouldn't have learned that one of them is so sick. One of them is very sick. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's vocabulary, right? The verb learn means aprender and also enterarse de algo. So if I Thank hadn't you. visited, you're welcome. If I hadn't visited my friends, I wouldn't have learned that one of them is so sick. We have a chat entry here. Alejandro says, uh, if I had called my friend early in the afternoon, I would have had dinner with him. Okay. That means you didn't call him or her. No, him, right? Because you said it's a man. Yes. Okay, so you didn't call him and therefore you didn't have dinner with him. Yes. Okay. All right. Great. It's correct. I I would have had a teacher. Excuse me. I would have. I yes. Would have, I would yes, have had. It's correct. It is I correct. Have, okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. I would have had. It is correct. Absolutely. Um, all right. Good. Uh, I'm going to copy this because it's a good example. All right. So. I'm sorry, teacher, but exactly why is correct, teacher? Because I can understand the past participle part of dinner is. Ah, but is dinner, dinner is. No, but dinner is a noun, not a verb. The past oh, participle okay. that you're using here is had. It's had, yes. Mm -hmm. Because mm. you use would plus have plus a verb in past participles. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what you did. I would have had, mm -hmm. and then you use dinner. But dinner is a noun, not a verb. I would have had dinner with him. Okay? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Um, volunteers, please. I want to hear more sentences. We don't have much time. It's, it's pretty much time to go, but okay. Maritza and then Rufino. Okay, teacher. Um, if I won the lottery, I could have bought a big house. If I won the lottery? Yes. Sounds like second conditional. Okay, so, okay, let's take a look. If I won the lottery, I would have bought a big house. Is this your sentence? If I had won the lottery. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay, good. If I had won the lottery, I would have bought a big house. That means that you played the lottery, but you didn't win, right? So if I had won the lottery, I would have bought a big house. 
Okay, good. Well, keep trying, okay? Because you know, do you know what all lottery winners have in common? They play, <laughs> okay? They all have that in common, they play. So don't give up. All right, very good. Uh, Rufino and then Janita. I'm going to try, uh, please. I had, if I had uh, cheated or copied, uh, no, no, I don't know uh, better, better word. If it is cheated. an ex if it is an exam, it's cheated. Ah, uh, cheated. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. so cheated. I uh, if I had cheated in that in the exam, mm -hmm. I would have faced. I would have passed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, that's one regret. That's a very honest regret. Okay, so uh, if I had cheated uh, in the exam, in the exam, I would have passed it. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, grammatically correct. Absolutely, yeah. If I had cheated in the exam, I would have passed. Si hubiera hecho trampa en el examen, habría pasado. Se arrepiente de no haber hecho trampa. Okay, so if I had cheated in the exam, I would have passed it. Okay, great, great example. Thank okay. you very much, Janita. The Teacher, please tell me if this is correct. Please. Um, if I had had health, I would have gotten the scholarship. If I had had health, mm -hmm. in the I would I would have gotten the scholarship. If I had had help, I would have gotten the scholarship. This mm -hmm. is correct. Mm -hmm. Very good. Oh, if I okay. had had, mm -hmm. that's the past past uh, perfect of have. So if I had had help, I would have gotten the scholarship. Si hubiera tenido ayuda, no, habría conseguido. No, no, no. Health, 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 health. Uh huh. Salud. Yes. If I had had health, were you sick or something back then? Yes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. I guess, okay, this is, uh, people will understand, but I guess there are more natural ways of saying this. Probably if I had been healthy, mm -hmm. uh -huh, if I had mm -hmm. been healthy, si hubiera estado saludable, ¿verdad? Buen, buen estado mm -hmm. de salud. If I had been healthy, I would have gotten the scholarship. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, but yeah, okay, mm -hmm. technically the structure mm -hmm. was good. Okay, everybody, mm -hmm. thank you for participating. Just one more thing I'm going to mention here very quickly for strong wishes about the present or future, like very strong wishes or strong regrets about the past. This is good because it applies to both situations. It applies to wishes in the present or the future and also regrets in the past. You can use if only instead of I wish. If only. If only clauses are often used without a main clause. You can say, if only my boss would consider promoting me. So, si tan solo mi jefe me considerara dar el ascenso. ¿verdad? So that's the meaning of that. So if only my boss would consider promoting me. So you can use it with wishes and also with regrets. Okay. And uh, it emphasizes okay, the situation. Um, Everybody, uh, I just I just want to say, uh, by the way, uh, as I was mentioning today earlier on the WhatsApp group, this is, um, well, I have been informed that they need you to complete all the exercises in the platform by Monday, by Monday, the, it's going to be the 20th, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see. Yeah, Monday, the 20th. So th they need you uh, to complete everything again. Okay, and they need you to complete everything by, by Monday. So uh, my invitation is for you to continue working on the platform. If there are any exercises that are giving you trouble, please, please, you can communicate that on the WhatsApp group. And if I had the opportunity, I'm going to help you with that. Anyway, we're going to, you know, check the whole unit, the whole section, section number four over the next the next week. And we're going to solve all the exercises, but they need you to finish everything, including the final exam, before Monday. Okay, so uh, please work on that. And again, um, I, I promise if I can help you, okay, with uh, exercises or anything, okay, I will do it. Okay, I'll try to be a little bit more um, 
try to be checking, you know, what's up. Sometimes it's a little bit difficult because I, just like everybody else, I have a job, a daytime job. And, and sometimes it is a bit difficult because it's quite demanding. <laughs> so, uh, but, I, but I'll do my best, okay? But please, everybody work in the platform. It's absolutely necessary. And they're doing this because um, if the exercises are not complete by Monday, then we will not have, the, they will not have the opportunity to send all the information to InsaForp. And uh, that means that we will not be able to study one more level for the next time. Okay, so uh, I want everybody to complete those exercises. Please complete them before Monday. Okay, uh, everybody, thank you very much. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow for the final class this week. Good night. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.